So up everyone, welcome to the power play with CJ to focus in on the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning losing Andre Palat for three to five weeks and uh, you know what it means going forward for Tampa who have not gotten off to the start they want to. Um, you know, I picked them to win the Eastern Conference and uh, you know, we're obviously the reigning Eastern Conference champs. Steve Sand Cross is a free agent, let's put a great regular season together and, and convince him to stay. Obviously hasn't been the uh, the thing during the during the like almost the season, that's not been the theme. But you know, I, I'm not pulling the plug on Tampa's chances. Obviously, losing Pilat hurts. Um, you know, for you know, a pretty lengthy period of time, probably back, you know, right around the beginning of December. Um, and you know, it's, you look at what Pilat's done for that team in the last couple of years. He's been a, a big reason why, you know, they've been able to win on such depth. I mean, having a guy like that, you know, that they kind of really pulled out of nowhere. It's just, you know, one of the last picks in the 2011 draft. Um, you know, and, and Watch him turn into this, you know, really great all-around player has been, uh, you know, a testament to, to Tampa's coaching staff and obviously the, the team around him. But, you know, he was money last year in the playoffs, 63 points last year in the regular season. Not bad for a kid that went 208th in the 2011 draft after being passed over in the 2009 and 10 draft. So, you know, pretty good uh, pretty good, good little run there uh, for, for Mr. Pilat. Um, you know, in terms of replacing him, they're going to call someone up. I talked about it today. They're looking to move Carl. I don't think you know if someone's going to offer them a forward from that call right now. That's almost too good of a fit. You know, get a get a guy that can score. But I think to, I look to probably bring up time time again. Um, I think that's if I had to venture guess, that's who's going to be up for them. Um, you know, he's been up earlier this season. You know, obviously nowhere near the player Pilat is, but he's been around, got some NHL experience. You know, give him a give him a look see and, and see what he can do. Um, you know, again, it's just a, a tough blow for a team that has not played the way they want to play. And tomorrow night they got Buffalo, so they're, they're like 11 and 0 in the last 11 games against Buffalo or something ridiculous like that. So, you know, um, that's one of those things where, yeah, you, you got a, strong, a young team that actually had a good win the other day against Vancouver. Um, they're coming to town, you know, get get yourself the two points and, and see what happens. But, you know, again, it's just one of those like it's a, it makes Steve Eiserman's uh, job that much harder, you know, when you're you're trying to juggle the Matt Carl thing, trying to resign Stan Close, and now one of your better young players is is down. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's look at Tampa's schedule. They play. They got a West Coast road trip coming up at the beginning of December. They're in uh, Anaheim, San Jose, and then Los Angeles from December 2nd through December 6th. I would assume that's when he comes back. If I was a gambling man, that's three weeks out. Uh, I'd say he comes back right after that. They got the Senators at home December 10th, and the Light, the Caps at home the 12th. So that weekend, right there, they'll be back in one of those games. So if I was a gambling man, that's what I'd say. Anyway, that's all. Get episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.